my new friends and I welcome you to Paper and Moose. Join me today as I venture back to the home that has invited me inside to take their quote unquote trash. These three ladies were a part of my recent trash haul. So what else did I grab from the house? Let's find out. It is another trash day adventure here at Paper and Moose. If you are new, welcome. So glad that you found the channel. My name is Renee. Some people call me Pam, Paper and Moose. And today I am going to show some recent trash to treasure finds from a home that has actually invited me inside to take what they deem as trash. They are doing a clean out bit by bit and instead of having to haul everything from attics, basements, etc., put in a trash bag and take out to the curb, they are letting me have first dibs on what they no longer want or think is creepy. Hey, look this way. <laughs> They're, they're looking over there. Anyway, I wanted to share some of the items that I took. I do not film in the home um, to protect the privacy or out of the privacy for the family. And honestly, some of the places are a little bit dark, so it would be hard to see things anyway. But I figure if I can't film in the home, then at least I can show you some of the great things that I have found. So yes, we have our friends here. Some of you detest creepy dolls, others enjoy them. This, this poor girl, this is an ideal doll. And she is rather heavy now, but what is nice about her is that she still has her original eyes and they do somewhat move. She has an opening in her mouth, which I don't know if these were the kind that you could fill with water. I'm not sure, but she has, she hasn't aged well. The next doll, which is quite lovely, is this one. This is a century doll. You can still see some remnants of her hair. At least I think that's her hair. <laughs> what is great about her is that she still has her original eyes. I don't know if you'll be able to see inside of the head, but the eyes are on this like metal contraption and oftentimes they will have been broken out, broken out, broken, or one eye is missing, but she still has hers and she still also has her original teeth. Sorry if this creeps anyone out. No. Her hands are a little bit worse for the wear, same as her body, but her head is in, besides this, is in great condition. And enter the hedge trimmer. Can't get away from noise, but we are gonna push through. So you probably think, what do people do with these dolls? Like, they're broken, they're not complete. Well, first of all, this part can easily be cleaned. The head perhaps will take a little bit more because you have to be careful with the insides. I guess a can of air will help actually. But many people restore these and they also, believe it or not, use them in their Halloween decor. I know that because I do that too. Like for instance, someone might, I actually follow someone on Instagram that takes old dolls, this would probably be perfect, and they have taxidermy animals that have you know, they've, they've passed away, such as mice or even spiders, large spiders, and the, the person attaches them and makes scenes with old doll heads. So for instance, he might have a spider, a taxidermy tarantula, climbing out of the head. It's amazing what people will do with these. Also, they take air plants and they would remove the eyes and so they would put the air plant inside and then the little leaves of the air plant or the shoots would actually come out the eyes. I'm just letting you know what people do with these things. But for her age to still have her eyes in that great of a shape, it's a really good thing. Now my other friend over here, poor girl, poor, poor girl. I actually have a few dolls that are like this. 
she has been the receiver of some paint. So it looks like they tried to give her a little bit of blush and then decided, you know what, let's give her eyes some red color too. Um, her eyes still do move. She does have a crier in her. So once, at one time you would put her down, lay her down and she would cry. Poor girl. But yes, her original eyes normal damage for the head and then she still has all her appendages so I was elated to see those I thought they were rather fun what else I love to see and they were laying on the floor so I asked the uh, the homeowner if I could have them and then I explained why so we have an assortment of vintage weightlifting instructional booklets. So this is the York Home Gym. Look how cool that looks. We have York barbell and dumbbell system. I know, I don't know where I put them, but there were, I think they might be in the box. Noise, noise, noise. There were fold outs of um, some of the foot weights. So we'll get to those. This is Bob Hoffman's swing bar training. I just love how they look. Look at that guy. He's working on his abs. So we have those bits of paper. There are also some other books. We have the Atlantic Monthly. You know, the outside has mold and mildew damage but the inside isn't so bad so if you can find good illustrations or ads you can at least save those then there are also these little journeys to the homes of great musicians Robert Schumann 1901 so these are a whole series so they go over the different musicians during our time I have a few of those, some in better shape than others. For the records, a few boxes of records, but there was nothing that, you know, was going to bring in a lot of money. A lot of the records were the compilations, you know, Beethoven, Beethoven's Greatest Hits or Relaxation Tunes, and people aren't really interested in those at all. So some of the records that were there, we have The Sound of Music, The Roving Gambler, I've never heard of him, Luck Be a Lady, oh he sang that? I thought that was, is that Tom Jones? Uh, Nat King Cole, of course we know who he is, Tijuana Brass, Love Potion number 9, Whipped Cream and Other Delights. Oh, that's whipped cream. I thought that was a dress. This I thought was rather funny. We have Golf Instructions by Arnold Palmer on record. So you listen to it before you go to the golf course, and then you have to remember it. I think there's even a booklet. Maybe I should listen to this, and I could go golfing besides mini golf. This has a great cover to it. Irving Berlin's All Soldier Show. This is the Army. Really great. And the records are all in there. And what's this one? Oh, Christian Science Hymns. Shepherd, show me how to go. It matters not what be thy lot. So they're all in there too. Of course, we have more frames. Again, the wood motif. I don't want to drop that with a glass. It's actually better if they don't have the glass in them, in my opinion. And then this nice one too. It has more of a, a carving on the wood. Let's see. Oh, here were the posters, which I think I showed you already for the weightlifting. There's actually several of them. So 
swing bar training. So you take kind of what would be a kettlebell now. Oh, same thing, the good mornings, people still do them. Squats, shoulder shrugs, swinging the weights. Let's just look at one more because I, I love this stuff. The York Barbell System of Training. Jefferson lift. Be careful when you do that one. The rise on the toes. That works your calves. Shoulder shrugs. One arm press. Like the, like the men in the circus. Um, let's see. What is this? She threw this in there. Exclusive Guildcraft Italy. No idea what it's worth. But it's all in one shape. All in one shape, all in one piece. We'll put that over there. I think there's some other paper she threw in here. Oh, we'll just show you the ads. Again, these are, I have a lot of work to do. And that is why, I must say, I have not been posting more listings on Etsy. I've just been busy organizing all this stuff because it takes a while. Look how great the advertising and advertisement is. So those. Then an assortment of some other smaller things. We have some, this is quadruple plate. It's not ster sterling silver. These are from the B. Rogers Silver Company in Taunton, Massachusetts. So I have a nice look to them. They could be cleaned up. Is that still recording? Yes. This little guy is a little bit, has a little bit of weight to him. It reminds me of like a trophy cup. This box, which well, it's a, a cigar box, but that's not what I'm interested in. It has on the front old English handles from Philadelphia, then it's ripped, used, or ripped too old. So inside, let's show that after, you have these lovely handles, or plates, that were from some house in Philadelphia. We all have to match up the handles to them and see if we all have see if they all have a pair but those were nice those should be easy to sell then we have this piece which is in there which i really like and i'm going to keep ferdinand keller foreign and domestic antiques and brick brack from philadelphia pennsylvania and this was sent to someone in Washington DC. It does not have a date on it though. But plain, simple, sophisticated advertising for foreign and domestic antiques and bric-a-brac. Bric-a-brac. Then last but not least, this interesting, interesting piece. It is a planter. It does have a, a crack, but it has an ever so slight um, sunburst and circle motif. I'm not sure if you could see it, but it does remind me of somewhat like art, I want to say art deco. But very subtle, but yet you, know, you can definitely make it out. There is just this 95 on the bottom. I don't see a, a maker's mark does have considerable cracks, but still just a nice looking piece. This would look great if you were to reuse it as a planter, if you had a flower that was very bright and vivid. So it would look well against the, the white or cream, off-white of the planter. So, oh, we also had some light fixtures. <laughs> the little, what's that say? Waiter? W-E-D-E-R has a little knob on the side. 
this piece, which I liked. I'm not sure what it's for, if it's to hold your matchbooks. It has a man with a horn and a dog. You can see. And that's what it looks like on the bottom. So I thought that was a nice piece. Just clean that up, get the dust and dirt off. So, not bad. I have a lot to clean, a lot to go through. The paper from this home is going to take me some time because of the damage to it. I'm, I don't want to bring it all inside um, because of the issues to mainly the covers. So I'm going to have to separate and do everything outside. Um, but when you have treasure, that's what you just have to do. So I hope you enjoyed this. I will keep making these videos of what I am given at this new home. And you know, they're very, very nice. It's just really neat to be able to see what their relatives have collected through the years and what has been there and what they no longer want or need and what they pass along. So I feel very grateful that I'm able to do that. So I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to stay tuned for more adventures. What if I find a third house that's doing this? That'd be crazy. If, that third house, if there's a third house that's doing this, I hope that they're throwing out like old photos from the 1800s and early 1900s, their postcard collection from the past 150 years, and all of their vintage holiday decorations they've ever had. <laughs> if that happens, oh boy, then I need a, a much bigger place, a bigger car. Uh, pod. I can't get one of those. I can't do one of those. Storage unit. I don't know. We'll have to see. Well, we'll just have to wait and see if that ever happens. <sighs> Vintage holiday, definitely. Well, thank you again for joining. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you all next time for another adventure.